Om Shanti and welcome back to your own channel. A very good morning to all of you listeners. For all those listeners who are listening to this for the first time, you can go and check out the link given of this channel for the YouTube. And when you go to this channel, you can check out the videos and the playlist. Go to the playlist and click on that and you'll find out different topics given over there. They are, I think, 300 to 400 videos plus in this channel. And they have all been put under different labels like you have depression videos, you have parenting videos, you have alpha videos, how to become an alpha in life and about yoga asanas, exercises, about chair exercises, diet plan, sleep patterns and many more things have been shared over there. Have a look at that and then once you like them, after listening, do share it with others for others' benefits. So, what does Baba have to say in today's blessing, 241 day of a godly blessing? Let's check that out. Baba says, may you be great and humble. That is very important. Greatness is there when there is humility. If there is ego, there is no greatness. Something is lacking. Some values lacking, some virtues lacking and something is lacking in the person's character. So may you be great and humble and give your finger for the elevated task of world transformation. In India, we have seen Lord Krishna being shown lifting up a huge mountain, right? Nanata, what is that mountain? Why the little finger? How can somebody lift up a mountain with a finger? That's all symbolism. So here it's a symbol that that hill or the mountain is an example of the troubles and the tribulations which come in Kalyuga, right? People have tough times, people have financial issues, people have health issues. There's sadness and there is challenge everywhere in this world, in every area of life. So God comes down on earth and he helps us. He gives us the knowledge so that we souls also help him out to remove this mountain of trouble, mountain of tribulation. Are you be thinking why God needs help of his children, human beings? Well, God says, I do not need your help. But since you have made this home of yours dirty from golden age, from heaven, you made this earth into hell. Now you children are supposed to not help me, but help yourself clean your mess up. So that's why then everybody comes below the hill top as has been shown under held by Sri Lord Sri Krishna and then everybody else comes down and tries to lift up that hill. Now here the details of who Lord Krishna is, who Supreme God Father is, yes there are two different entities. One is incorporeal and one is corporeal. Lord Krishna has been shown as corporeal, whereas God is incorporeal. You find out that difference also. Anyways, all those things you can learn at the Brahma Kumaris and many more things. It has nothing to do with the Hindu religion. You learn about every different religion and when different religious fathers are going to come back on this earth again. Yes, when is Jesus going to come back? When is Gautam Buddha going to come back? And when are we going to go into liberation? Everything has been taught in Brahma Kumaris and many more secrets of peace and love and happiness. Well, let's go ahead with today's Vatan. Let's get into the details. May you be great and humble and give your finger for the elevated task of world transformation. So God comes down on earth when he sees all his children are in pain and suffering. People are thinking, children of God are thinking that technology is improving so the world is becoming heaven. Whereas there are troubles and tribulations in every home. There is unhappiness which is also increasing. So technology is not a sign of progress, human nature, human values is a sign of progress, human character is a sign of progress which we are losing out day by day and lacking in. So Baba says when you prepare something, you have to put all its ingredients into it, right? So even if something ordinary like salt or sugar is a little less in that preparation, what will happen? Will it be called a complete preparation? No. Something delicious would not be worth eating in the same way for this elevated task of world transformation for turning Kali Yuga or impure yoga into golden age, pure yoga. Baba says each and every jewel is needed. God is calling you a jewel. God is calling me a jewel. <clears throat> Why? Because he has gifted us with certain qualities, certain values, certain qualities which are his gifts. So he is going to use those gifts to turn this Kali Yuga or hell into heaven on this very earth. 
because Adam and Eve were on this earth, right? Not on some other planet. Well, there was heaven on this earth, not on some other planet. So he's going to come and transform hell into heaven on this very planet, not on some other planet. So then God says, in the same way, for this elevated task of world transformation, each and every jewel is needed. Everyone's finger is needed of support. Everyone is absolutely in their own way an elevated Maharathi. That means a great soul. Maharathi means a great elevated soul and needed. This is why you have to understand the value of your nobility. All of you are great souls. We have to understand that. If we compare ourselves with the worldly things, with our wealth, with people amass, with their looks, physical looks, with how much of uh, status they have, then we'll not feel great at all. God says, your values and virtues which I've given you, the knowledge which I've given you, is your greatness. The Bible says, this is why you have to understand the value of your nobility. All of you are great souls. However, to the extent that you are great, you are also supposed to be and have to be humble just as much. So, humility without greatness humility without greatness of no use greatness without humility is ego is of no use so both of them have to be together humility that means i don't need anything from the world i am doing everything for the support of my own future i'm not helping god by making these videos i'm helping myself actually right so i don't need any likes or any kind of subscription numbers to increase I just need every soul to understand this, every soul to imbibe this in their life. God has told me to be humble and not ask for likes and subscriptions or ask for name and fame in any form of service which we do, whether through a media like this, whether through on the stage. We don't want any clapping to be done on the stage. We don't want any hooting to be done on the stage. This is spiritual knowledge for peace, for love and happiness. It is listened to in silence of the mind and not with hooting and not with clapping and not with any form of name and fame of flowers and garlanding for the speaker or for the person who has been imparting this knowledge so or sharing this knowledge to be right so god wants us to be humble in every way so this channel is also in a humble process of sharing knowledge and i hope if you like it to share it with others not to increase the subscribers but to help others to have peace and love in their life. So I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. Have a blessed day. Stay safe and stay healthy. Om Shanti.